Hello people, welcome to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Today we have three unique places that I'm going to present to you guys. Location number one, Lapa neighborhood, the heart of the most bohemian region in our city. Location number two, Birante das Canoas, an area surrounded by nature with imposing big mountains known as Pedra da Gávea and Pedra Bonita as a scenery. In addition, an amazing view of São Conrado Beach in the background. Location number three, Feira de São Cristóvão, a place that you can dance, eat a good food, and spend quality time. Located in the neighborhood of São Cristóvão, central area of the city. Enjoy this 20 minute break. Location number one. Lapa is a traditional popular Carioca neighborhood, originated in 1751. The same name of the neighborhood was given in honor of Nossa Senhora da Lapa do Desterro, located in the central area of the city, between the north and the south zones, with Santa Teresa and Gloria as neighboring districts. It has colonial architecture, big houses with balconies and streets paved with bricks. Lapa is known for its bohemia and irreverency. It has a wide variety of bars, restaurants, pubs, and teen nightclubs. The first location in Lapa is an open day air fair called Feira do Lavradio, also known as Feira do Rio Antigo, held every Saturday of the month, was conceived in 1996 by local merchants as a way to bring more movement to the region which at the time was in decline. The fair became so popular that it became a tourist spot in the neighborhood. 
reference point of urban culture, good music, and gastronomy. The fair brings a lot of artists, craftsmen, and vendors that offers a variety of products, from furniture to clothing and accessories to decorative objects. You can have contact straight to the artist and talk with them. Touch the handmade product before you decide to buy. The fair also serves as a warm-up for the nightlife of the bars and restaurants in Lapa.
The second location in Rafa is the most famous meeting point, the great white arches, postcard of the neighborhood, the Carioca Aqueduct, also known as Arcos de la Aqua, built in 1723 in colonial Brazil times with the aim of solving the city water supply problems. Today, it serves as a route for the trolley system that connects the center to the Santa Teresa district. Just a few steps away, less than five minutes from the arches, we can have the Escadaria Celeron. But before, we're going to show a graffiti alley across the street from the staircase, where we can shop in souvenirs, find bars and restaurants that you can see and enjoy the environment around. Their staircase. It is another famous tourist spot connecting the neighborhoods of Lapa and Santa Teresa. Its renovation began in 1990 by George Seller, an artist who lived in one of those houses in front of the stairs for more than 30 years, consisting of 215 steps measuring 125 meters in height. this information please like subscribe to the channel share and hit the notification bell location number two the mirante das canoas
Location number two. Demerante das Canoas. It is a small viewpoint belonging to the park da Floresta da Tijuca. Little known even by national tourists. From there, it is possible to have a panoramic view of São Conrado's beach. It has parking space, but there are no vendors or batteries in the surrounds or nearby. The viewpoint location is isolated, but worthy of contemplation with a great view and the connection with the nature is wonderful. Access by São Conrado is from Canoas Road, a tortuous and tree-lined path with old and imposing houses along the way. The road driving experience itself, it's an adventure. If you like this information, please like, subscribe to the channel, share, and hit the notification bell. Location number three, the Feira de São Cristóvão, the Centro Luiz Gonzaga de Tradições Nordestinas, better known as Feira de São Cristóvão, is the largest cluster of northeastern traditions outside the northwest. Consists of several open air vendors, two stage for large scale attractions and numerous space for smaller performances. Northeastern's culture is shown through regional handcrafts with their art, their unique cuisine, and great music. When hunger strikes, you can experience the flavor of typical cuisine, such as Bayon de Dois, a mix of rice and green beans with spices or carne de sol, a beef salted and dried in addition to experiencing the unparalleled taste of cachaça de jambu. If you like this information, please like, subscribe to the channel, share and hit the notification bell.
like this format, please leave you a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, share, and hit the notification bell.